Hi, I'm Dr. Amir Shah. I'm a cardiovascular surgeon here at Las Robles Medical Center. I'm very excited to be here. I just joined the practice about uh, two months ago, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, new technologies and uh, techniques we have uh, that are, uh, we can make available to our patients here at Las Robles. So, you know, I'd like to talk a little bit about endovascular procedures, which are um, new minimally invasive uh, approaches to treatment for a complex uh, disease of the aorta and the aortic valve. And so, um, one of the newly advanced uh, options that we have is, uh, you know, thoracic stent grafts, which we have available at Las Robles, um, which are uh, tubes that uh, are deployed through a catheter in the groin into the aorta to exclude the aneurysm. This is a model of an aortic aneurysm in the descending aorta, uh, where uh, blood flows into this aneurysm, uh, abnormal outpouching, which has an increased risk for you know, complications, including uh, rupture or bleeding uh, with medical treatment. So these can be treated very safely with a stent that's deployed through the groin uh, in a, from a small catheter, which is smaller than the size of the tip of my finger. Um, and the stent is placed into the aorta and effectively excludes blood flow from the abnormal part of the aorta. Similarly, we have uh, devices, uh, uh, transcatheter aortic valves to treat uh, aortic valve stenosis. And uh, this has really revolutionized uh, cardiac surgery. Uh, these devices are, uh, again, um, small valves that are mounted on catheters that are about the size of my fingertip. They are deployed through the groin and go uh, into the um, aorta and to the, into the aortic valve and uh, are deployed and uh, start working immediately. And it's a much less uh, invasive procedure and a safer procedure than in, in many circumstances for versus aortic surgery. And uh, we have the ability, of course, to do both open, uh, aortic, uh, open uh, cardiac and uh, aortic surgery as well as the end endovascular options, depending upon what we think is the best uh, treatment option for our patients. I would just like to say again that I'm very excited to be here. I think this is a um, tremendous opportunity um, and a very um, exciting time to be in cardiac surgery and vascular surgery. And um, I think it's uh, we're just very excited to be able to uh, offer these uh, technologies and these techniques to our patients in the area.